But before we start, I just want to say that everyone you hear today is going to lie to you and say that you're, you're, the, you're your biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, They're yeah, talking yeah. absolute nonsense. They don't know my music. Yeah, they don't know any of your this <laughs> and your music. I, on the other hand... I thought it was Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, now, I'll tell you the truth. The first album I ever bought when I was growing up, when I was 18, 2011, was The Awakening. Really? Yeah. Fucking With my own money. How old are you then? 25. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was 18, sense, yeah. and I still remember my favorite song of that album, Must Be Slave to the Music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. That goes in really well. Uh, 13 years since your last album. Yeah. Uh, I know you've got a, one coming out now in March. Why do you think people are still so obsessed with your music? Um, I don't know whether I'd say obsessed. No, they are. I think I think <laughs> um, in the day and age of, of a lot of like processed sound in mm. music and singers that um, you know, it's, it's more about like the fashion and sort of how cool you are. Mm, mm. I've always just concentrated on what I'm feeling when I'm singing, and I think that's the thing that people like about my music. Hopefully, mm. is the is is the uh, honesty in the expression. I know that you took a maybe bit not of, yeah. maybe I'm, maybe I don't, maybe it's not that, but I, I, that's what I want it to be. That's what I hope it is. Because it's quite authentic. Yeah, I want you know I just want to, when I sing, people know that I'm singing for the right reasons because it makes me feel good, and and it's healing and it helps, you know, it helps helps people. Music. I know that a while ago you took a break, uh, especially yeah. to look after your family and spend more yeah. time with your yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever gone to a place where you're like, you know what, I'm actually over this. I'm over all the touring. <laughs> yeah. I'm over all no, the making well, of music. Well, actually being at home, I've been, I've, I'm like, I need to get out of here. Get, <laughs> I need to get on the road and do some gigs. Uh, I've spent a long time at home. Like the last 18 months I've been at home. Mm. Um, which has been, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad to get, get going again with some new music that I feel excited about. And I had to sort of, I had to sort of get disillusioned yeah. to come back fresh. Another album in March. Are you still just as excited as 2006 100%. when the first one came more out? More excited because I feel like I've got more experience and I can enjoy it more. I was, I was just scared of everything in the mm. beginning. Mm. I was 21. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just sort of went at it and it worked and it was successful. And, and I just tried to keep riding the train really. Whereas this time, it feels like I'm doing it in my own way, mm. in my own time, in, and in the way that I want to do it. And it's working better because of that. What, so, what would you say is the biggest change from the James Morrison who was busking in the bars at 13, the guy who got discovered in a bar actually, to now? Um, like what's been the biggest change in your life? The biggest change is just... Apart like, from the money. I, no, no, no. I mean, that has been a big... Di you know, I was poor when I was a kid. I mm, was mm, so mm. poor. Uh, but the biggest change is like confidence in myself, actually. But that didn't come until I had a kid. I, I, when I had a kid, I sort of stopped worrying about being a pop star. Yeah. And concentrating on who I was as a person. And in, th in turn, it made me go, yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right singing. I'm pretty good. I sort of stopped worrying <laughs> You're about... You're decent. You're okay. Stopped worrying about other yeah. people's opinions so much. You've got a pretty big body of work. Yeah, what would you yeah. say is your... Um, Let's say single ladies to Beyonce. What would you say is your biggest? Like, <laughs> the one where whenever you play the show, the crowd is like, play this. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't like to say it is this tune, but it, it probably, I think Broken Strings is probably the one that most, most people know. Ooh. Which to me is kind of annoying because it was like a, it's like a one-off pop thing that mm, I did. Mm. Uh, but, but the fact that Nelly Furtado came on and sang on it was the main reason I was excited about doing it. Nelly Furtado's not here. No, she's not here. No. If you need a Nelly Furtado, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, you can call me that if you want. <laughs> You're going to put a wig on? I will, I'll do whatever. <laughs> There's my last question for you. Um, the new album. Yeah. So in all your past albums, like you said, you had Nelly Furtado, you've done Jesse mm. J, you even yeah. had a song with Jason Mraz. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Any cool collaborations we can expect in a new one? Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got um, a single, first single is with Joss Stone. Uh, which I'm stoked about because mm. she's she's up there as one of those. She's incredible. She's just she can sing the telephone, but yeah. it sound good. Mm. Um, and she's really down to earth, really beautiful person, uh, and it just makes my job even easier because she can sing good and she's really nice. So it was, it was just a pleasure to work with her. I've always wanted to work with her. She's I've come across her a, a, a lot of times across the years. Mm. Like she gave me my, my Brit Award. Um, I saw her at Coachella and we played a song together at Coachella Festival. 
It's incredible. And I've seen her a lot across the years, so it's good to finally actually do something music, mm. musical mm -hmm. with her. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's uh, it's just it's, it'll blow broker strings out of the water. I reckon. Super excited. It comes yeah. out in March, eh? Yeah, anyway, it's out now. You can you can hear it now. Yeah, but the album's out in March. Yeah, yeah. yeah. James, thank you so much. Thank you. We cannot wait for the shows. Yeah, cool. Same. Cool, cool. Nice.